For those living along the San Diego River. I lost two tents this week. We try to keep a backup because of this stuff that happens, you know. The last few days have been a nightmare. Tents, clothing and food carried off by rising floodwaters following torrential rains in eastern portions of San Diego County. We had all of our stuff down there in the in the tunnel and uh, we couldn't get it out. You know, it comes in really fast. Now, Eddie is just one of many impacted by the flooding. There's over 400 folks as of the last census uh, living in the riverbed. Homeless advocate Michael McConnell spends many of his days walking the riverbank, connecting with the more unseen portion of our homeless population. They come down here just to kind of get out of public view and sight because they know people don't want homeless people around. So they, they tend to be a little more private and just trying to stay out of the public view. And McConnell says these floods should be a wake up call, reminding city leaders and citizens that help is needed everywhere, not just downtown on sidewalks and street corners. We have to do more intensive outreach along the riverbed and also provide some resources that are a little more customized. We don't have any shelters here in this area. The closest one is way over in the Midway area. As for those impacted by recent storms, the disbelief at how fast the water came, how they thought they were in a safe spot, uh, how they just, you know, woke up and the water was coming and rising and they just had to go. Sentiments that are echoed by Eddie, who says he's doing his best to stay optimistic despite this most recent setback. It, it just makes it impossible to ever get anywhere, you know, because how are you supposed to get anywhere when you don't have anything? Matt Pritchard, KUSI News.